watching KCRA 3. We begin with breaking news. Breaking news, a fire is burning near Toke Lane and Hedge Avenue in South Sacramento. That's where we find KCRA 3's Kristen Samos. She got to the scene about a half an hour ago. And Kristen, did this start out as a grass fire? Well, you know, we don't know yet how it started. This is still really an active fire. You can see here behind me, we're still seeing water tenders and uh, fire crews and smud trucks arriving. Uh, what we can tell you is there is a wet line around this fire, which means it's kind of loosely contained. But of course, that could change if the winds change. Uh, that's certainly not a, a sure containment. Um, and as you can see, there are still active flames that they're trying to put out. We did find out that this is private property, but it's right next door to a smud substation and a smud training facility. Here on this land, there are several trailers, as you can see. Uh, there's a barn. There are some boats. There's a mobile home that may be, I don't know if it's a home or an office, but there's quite a bit on this land here. And uh, just out here within the last few minutes, we're feeling the winds kind of shifting. Um, we're hearing some popping noises. Uh, we can see there's a tractor there that's pushing what looks like a, an already burnt trailer into the fire. And you can see here another Metro Fire water tender is just now arriving. Now, what we do know is the, one of the biggest challenges out here is the lack of access to water to refill. There aren't any hydrants. Uh, so that's why they're still calling in water tenders. And that's actually not an unfamiliar case for SAC Metro. We're told that about 50% of the district is poorly watered, so it is something that they deal with. But this, of course, being uh, really kind of in a remote area, you can see there's a, a big grassy area here. It's off of Elder Creek and Tokay Avenue, so um, not a lot of homes nearby. Obviously, this area where the fire is burning, though, has quite a bit on it in terms of trailers and boats and, and whatnot. What I think is really significant is we spotted this fire about an hour hour ago from Cal Expo. We were over on the other side of Cal Expo and could see the big plumes of smoke. So a whole lot of dark smoke. If you're anywhere in this area, uh, you can no doubt see what's going on out here. Uh, that's the latest from this fire out in South Sacramento. I'm Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News. Thanks, Kristen. If Polly can still hear us, if you can pan off to the power lines right now, we're hearing that there is a power outage in the Rancho Cordova area that may be associated with this fire here in South Sacramento. What we're hearing from SMUD crews is that an estimated 13,000 people are currently without power. That outage started at 8:11, and that is when this fire has been going on. So restorage time is expected at 9:15. Again, SMUD crews are working to restore power. Power in the Rancho Cordova area that may be connected to this fire burning in South Sacramento. And we do have team coverage of the fire in South Sacramento. 